Welcome back to Rundle Light Gaming. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a few more games here. I don't think we have any quests left. We do not. So we don't have anything productive to do, actually do. So what I may do is do some of the ranked matches. Just to play something. Mostly all I've been playing so far was just casual matches. And then um... So what we'll probably do is just play some of that. So far I've kind of enjoyed the Warlock, even though I'm sure he's not the best ever as far as decks go, but to me he's been enjoyable at least. So I'm going to go ahead and play a ranked match. So we will be facing a priest. The light shall bring victory. Your soul shall be mine. Yeah, this isn't bad actually. Because turn one I can do my charge, turn yeah. Turn two I'll draw, turn three I can either charge or I can grab a bunch of demons. Is someone injured? Well, that's gonna get annoying pretty quick. Right, let's go and draw a card. Someone injured? Yeah, so I probably have to trade because that's going to get really bad really quickly if I don't put a stop to that now. Her by herself is enough of a pain to be honest, but it's given him a lot of card advantage. We must cleanse the sun well. Why do you call? That guy. And let's search for a few demons here. Right, so there's my two succubuses. Mm. Yeah, I really hate that chick. She's really powerful, though. I played her once or twice when I was doing uh, the arena. I like what I call it. She definitely has a bit of card draw in this. Mm. So I can drop that, which will give me that, but. Yeah. 
Does Dingo? <laughs> yeah. So pretty much what I can do this round is I can go and do Hellfire. Well first I would attack. I wonder. Uh. Too quickly. He's a real pain in the ass. Um, all right, so as the master wishes, I will just have to set this up and blow the board up. Unfortunately, he has a ton of cards in his hand because I couldn't deal with her earlier. So I'm probably going to lose this match. Can at least drop it. Fortune has a lot of resources to take out one card, so at this point I'm probably at a major, major disadvantage. I'm probably going to lose this one. Because I would honestly be surprised if he still loses this game. So, Because again, he has 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. About 12 a cards up there. Yes. We must cleanse the sun well. Alright, so at this point, I'll drop a taunter. And I'll drop this guy. My trade cards here. I can get rid of it. My trade cards here. The goal at this point is basically to gradually burn down what he has on his side of the board. I don't have a huge amount of advantages on this one, but at least I can kind of slow down what he's going to do in hopes that I actually draw something much more useful.
Get behind me. I guess I need to keep drawing. As much as this is gonna hurt, I'll have to keep at least getting stuff in my hand. If I don't, I don't have a chance anyway. But he should pretty much have answers for anything I put out. I mean, the guy has a ton of cards in this And Mind Control is a very, very powerful card. I didn't know that existed, but at this point, though, he won. That was a pretty neat little build, um, as that I couldn't deal with his card draw mechanic, so I knew that one was going to be a pretty bad one. Once he got both of those out there and started healing stuff, there's really only so many options you can really do at that point. both of those. I just like to have a Hellfire in hand because at least then I know I don't have to eventually run into it so there we go and we got my boar. I do like my boar even though he's probably not the best thing ever and he's probably about to get fireballed in a second but he does usually buy me a turn. Basically, he's gonna fireball that. I'm gonna throw out my Merfolk next. He's gonna fireball that, which then burns another turn. Luckily I can kill her with my Merfolk because I don't want that living. And instead at least I traded cards with her instead, so... I think she was trying to find out whether or not the Fireball would be one less. But then she probably realized it would not be. That's not bad. Three, six, four, four. Uh, 
let's go ahead and bring our big guy down. Worst case scenario, he spent some stuff to fodder it. But if he wants to trade both creatures, then I'm content with that as well. Blast this. Now we're gonna blast everybody. Okay, so we'll drop our tongue guy. Void guy. Why do you call? Oh, how I hate polymorph. That seemed a little bit like a waste. Uh, okay, so we have another taunt. <laughs> Worst case scenario, he has another fireball and decides to fireball my troll. Or they kill each other. If they kill each other, then I can drain life it. May my ancestors watch over me. Alright, so I need a Shadow Bolt one. Drain life the other. Yeah, I'll just draw a card. Gates are open. Watch it probably get rid of my other. Okay. My other succubus survives. See, I wondered if she was the only card, if that actually goes away. Nope. So, as long as she's the only card, she has no downside for two mana, so. But if I don't lose everything here, I will. This is going to hurt quite a bit. Yeah, that's possible. Then I get fireballed. Nope. Actually, it's out of mana.
Action. The main objective is to slow them down as much as possible with the taunt creatures. Because again, I pretty much use my taunt creatures as my own little uh, bit of protection. Because as long as they're there, then most of the time they're constantly getting blasted. Gonna do at least four or five damage to me, so Ready to ride. Taste my steel. Uh, this might be risky. Yeah, because he might have a fireball, so I may be dead anyway. Or not at all. not going to help me. Um, two, four, five, six, seven. So pretty much I'm going to have to kill whatever I can of his, but... At this point, I'm pretty much just trading, though, so... Taste my steel! Yeah, so pretty much regardless, I was dead that way. Well, uh, they weren't wins. They were okay games, um... But I'm still working on my basic cards for most of my decks still. So I haven't quite even got my basic ones down yet. So pretty much it is something that's a work in progress. Uh, but I do hope that you enjoyed watching. And thank you for watching Run Gaming. You have a good day.